Hey, have you ever wanted to see what time it is? And also, be able to do stuff on your calculator at the same time? Well, now you can, thanks to this new application. Just quit. See, normally you can only do math equals or use the calculator or see what time it is. And now you can do both thanks to multitasking. Programs. Hold on. Clock. Okay, maybe this look like a normal clock. Look, 9.29 p.m. And look, when I hit the buttons, nothing happens. But, when you hit the secret button, it opens that calculator mode. Hold down the key, five. Five. Hold down the key, how about plus. Hold down, press a few times. Plus, five. Hit enter. Boom. Even supports more advanced things. Let's try something else. Uh, square root. Oh, there's a clear button too. Starts out with a zero plus, so zero plus. Square root. You press square root with this. Square root of two, one, two. Oop. That's pretty clear button here. It's a little bit slow as you can see. Zero plus the square root of twenty five. Okay. And that's the square root of 255. For some reason, the button's a little slow coming up sometimes. You need to optimize it. But you can still see the exact time and calculate. 5. See, it's a little slow. But if you hold down the button, it comes up. Okay, that button doesn't register. C5 plus 6 6 times 2 Let's see what else can do. Times and we yeah, even can use the parentheses in here. Parentheses. Six. <coughs> Depending on how much you have in your RAM, depends on how well it will actually work and how fast it is. Let's see. Basically, it supports any key pretty much from here down, except for the store, and that should be about it. Let's try this. Clear. Okay, look like these top row keys don't work for now. This is the first release, so let's try a square five. Squared. Yep, so you can do squared. There's not anything else down there. So this is the first release, view the clock, and do basic math functions at the same time. Okay. If you want to exit, just press graph. 
Exits go back in normal clock mode at full speed. Y equals again. And you go in disk mode. Now I'll explain how it works. The original version of this would go through, look at what key was pressed while the clock was going, in between clock recycles. Find out what key was pressed. Compare it to the key codes for all these keys. This being 21, this being 20, I mean 22, 23, 21, 22, 23, blah, blah, blah. And it will compare it with its list saying if it's this key, which is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 72. So if it was like 72 or 73 or whatever this key is, then that would mean it's a 7. Put it in. That was too slow, so what I did... Go to this is Mirage compatible by the way. It finds out where the key was pressed and compares it to this list of different possible commands. These top ones aren't working yet in this version, but they will be supported soon. Okay, and then basically from there, it compares what key was pressed in the code to in this list, and then it places it in the math problem. And from there, you can solve it while your clock is going. Multitasking and a calculator. Y equals enter. Whoops. And if you mess up, just hit clear. Five. Hold it down for a second. Plus. Hold it down for a second. And since it's using a while loop, it doesn't have as many of the error uh, memory problems as other things do. Enter. 10. Clear. 2 plus 2. As like I said, it supports pretty much all this stuff here. All this stuff here and this stuff. Yeah, like store, I couldn't get that to work, so you can't use variables. Um, this activates the square root. If you hold it down for one second. There we go. Square root. That leading zero has to be there. It's for basic coding. You can't do that much as you want. So, in the later version, I'll be able to remove that, but it should be fine for most stuff. Just do zero plus. Then again, you got your enter key, decimal point, negative. You can't use any second functions yet. Because that would all slow it down, so this is about as fast as I can get it. So, yeah.